organize our box vans for painting and in this video organizing your van for painting is extremely important so you can find anything and everything in a matter of seconds and in order to paint a house in a day you got to be able to walk out to your van you got to be able to find the tools you need and you need to find them right now and if things are just thrown in the van and guys are spending five minutes ten minutes looking for an item that's costing you time in the day and it's extremely to paint a house a three thousand square foot house in one day if you can't find the proper tools and the way we typically organize our box vans you can see the van itself and I'm a Tupperware guy and I like keeping things organized in Tupperwares and, and we got Tupperwares here and every single Tupperware is stacked it has uh, tape on it and it tells you exactly what's in the Tupperwares and we have Tupperwares old naps, we got Tupperwares for brushes, 4 inch naps, touch up kit cuts, caulking guns and so we got a lot of Tupperwares that are labeled up here we've got Tupperwares labeled tape, we got 1 inch tape 9 inch paper, 3 in plastic, inch and a half tape, we got bucket screens, 12 inch paper, so all these Tupperwares, they tell us exactly where everything's uh, to be found and we can find it fast. At the end of the day, everything's put back into the Tupperwares and the next job we know exactly where to find it. We also got stuff hanging in the vans and they're all hanging exactly in the same place. Up on the top of the van, we keep extension poles on quick release clips so we got extension poles up here we keep power washing wands for our power washers we got several different style wands up here we keep cardboard shield holders up here and these are actually just quick release uh, push levers that I've just bought from Home Depot and just mounted it on the ceiling brackets we keep brushes extension poles for spray wands and those are all mounted up on the tops of the van. Over here on the side you can see we've got the same type of quick release levers that keep brushes. And our, all our brushes are mounted on the side of the van and they're all organized. And we actually paint our handles on our brushes and they're color coordinated. Black brushes for, our in, for interior painting and then we actually paint brushes white. If there's you see a white brush, white white brushes are for exterior painting and it's, it's an exterior brush. We've got brushes painted red. Those are black china bristle brushes and only used for oil-based products. And so our brushes are color coded and we all we'll keep them out on the side of the van. We also got shelves here. We got a shelf that's um, all of our um, spray cans, all types of different colors of spray paint for spraying uh, roof vents, house numbers, and so forth. We also keep in our vans wasp and hornet spray, constantly using that stuff at this time of year. I use cardboard shields a lot extensively on every house I use, so we have a shelf right here with just cardboard shields. And then down here on this bottom shelf is all types of um, paint thinners, lacquer thinners, and all types of thinners, reducers, got keep WD-40 for lubricating stuff, our packing oils, and a lot of miscellaneous items hanging down on that third shelf. Over here hanging on the other side, we actually got magnetic strips. In our magnetic strips, we hold all kinds of metal tools. We've got screwdrivers, we keep wrenches down here all on our magnetic strips, scissors, putty knives and so forth. Those magnetic strips were purchased from Home Depot and mounted on the van too. We also got Tupperwares with drawers. We keep uh, a first aid kit in our van just in case somebody gets a cut, splinter, injured. And then we've got drawers with all kinds of tools. We've got drawers with tips, drawers with water nozzles, and those drawers keep everything separated and easy to find too. We keep our sprayers, typically have two to three 440 sprayers in the van. We keep a 695 up here in the front of the van because it's a heavier sprayer and it's easy to get out on the end of the van right there. And if you notice, the sprayers on the end of the van will sit with the wheels so they can only roll side to side. So if you accidentally left the back of the van open, the sprayer is not going to roll out. We keep, keep a power washer in the van too. We've got a power washer here and we always keep the power washers in the van and we always keep the power washers
face in that direction too when when we're done for the end of the day that way if for some reason somebody left the back of the van open too the power washer is not going to roll out of the back of the van which that has actually happened to us before and so we've learned from our own mistakes to keep the the machines with wheels on them so they'll only go side to side and not out the back of the vehicle we keep cans of paints down here that we typically would always use a lot on job sites and we've got a black white we keep primers in every van shellac primers bonding primers keep oil based primers all kinds of different primers in the van we always keep tank of gas for our power washer when we're power washing multiple houses in a day we typically power wash three to four houses on Monday so we need extra gas up in the front here we also keep bags of miscellaneous tools we got drills saws and all kinds of other miscellaneous equipment I keep in the bags keep a vacuum up front underneath here that's got an extendable handle that goes down so when we're working on interiors when we're done we can vacuum the floor we do keep other just miscellaneous tools stacked on top of our Tupperwares, gutter guards that we use to put on gutters. We keep our rolling pans for interiors sitting on top up here so they don't get smashed. And then I've got hangers. I've used just drawer hangers so we can actually hang our masters on the drawer hangers. And we typically keep at least four masters in a van. And then use coat hooks to actually hang our buckets on right here. We keep our ladders all stacked on one side of the van and we use we just take these hooks right here and we'll actually hook a bungee cord to keep them up on the side of the van so they won't slide and fall down. We also got hooks up here to keep our power washing hoses and um, for the power washer water hoses are hanging up here keep our electrical cords using those every day on the job keep our blower every day we're done with an exterior we use a blower to blow off the leaves and and garbage and stuff off the dust off the walkways and porches always keep stuff like hedgers in, an, in a van just in case we have to trim hedges back from a house that are touching the house for painting keep ladders all our caulking is kept up in the corner we keep other chemicals like bug juice sitting up here on the shelf and items like that we got drop cloths up here these are exterior drop cloths we keep our t exterior drop cloths separated from an interior drop cloths because our interior drop cloths are extremely clean we don't want them outside on the ground because we're taking them in inside somebody's house so our interior drop cloths are kept down here in a separate Tupperware. We also keep up in the front of the van chemicals like mineral spirits, lacquer thinner, and over here on this side of the van we also have hooks that actually hang all of our naps. We got nine inch naps, four inch naps all hanging on these shelf hooks right here. And I keep my over here on another hose ladder rack we keep I keep my mask, keep a radio and that's about how our van's organized here. We keep a three foot ladder hanging on the rack right there so it's easily accessible from the van without jumping inside the van if you gotta go to some house and do a touch up real fast. This is Chris and BNK Painting.